my name is Kenya Lee and welcome to my channel so I will be reviewing different products not just hair not just uh, beauty products but other products that are just used in general what I like to do is get straight to the point don't like youtubers that take all the time in the world to beat around the bush so this I promise you I'll get to the point I'll give you the price details I'll give you a little bit of the ingredients and how I use it and any best practices so let's get started um, as you can tell I have lots of tattoos so this review is on tattoo care and maintenance so one of my goals is to get uh, completely uh, tattooed on my back down my arm and I will get started on my leg later on in the summer with that it's always the what do we use what don't you use what are the pros cons and everything like that so I would like to go through that in detail with you for my larger one I went with just the regular care which is the wash it um, about two to three times a day make sure it's dry before adding in the ointment don't mind that that is my cat making all that noise um anyways um so the purpose of this video though is to not go over that film just yet i will go over that once i get um an additional tattoo and what i'll do is i'll kind of go through what it looks like and everything but for this one i would like to talk about some of the different ointments that i've used so there's three different ones aquaphor and I promise I'll put pictures on the side. A and D, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you know of. And my personal favorite, which is the winner of them all, Tattoo Silk or Tattoo Skin Silk. So this one's pretty, um, this one's my favorite, but we'll, we'll get to the point. So this one is actually supplied within the tattoo shop that I went to. Um, it's kind of like you take it with you and go. Uh, it kind of lasts for the duration of the time that you're supposed to do supposed to do the ointments, which is about the first two to three days, um, and then after that you want to use a non-perfume um, uh, lotion to put over your tattoo. Then I tried A and D skin protectant with vitamins A and D, which is the purpose of ignore my phone. Then another time I tried the A and D skin protector with vitamins A and D. This one I use for my larger tattoo, which is the elephant, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, I have no objections to any of these three because they've all done the job very well. It also matters what type of skin that you have. So I do have sensitive skin, um, so I was a little worried um, when I was getting my tattoos. But once you know I got rolling, basically saw that I wasn't have a problem. So that is fantastic. If it's not. Your story, I'm sorry, but this is, um, anyways, cut that out. So the Tattoo Skin Silk is one I found on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description, and it is also on my website under Shop My Faves. So you'll be able to find under um, Beauty and Healthcare, and you'll see the Tattoo Skin Silk. Harold, you'll see the Tattoo Skin Silk. So... This one comes in like a little plastic container or whatever. Smells like shea butter. I love shea butter. I use it for my hair. I used to make my own DIY whip. Basically, all the ingredients in here, you can more than likely smell them and create it yourself. So they have it. Raw shea butter, essential oils of rosemary, lavender, tea tree, and etc. So honestly, if you wanted to make this yourself, you could. I may try a DIY um, for this because this retails at about $14 on Amazon. Um, I could be wrong if it has changed, but it's a small container. It usually lasts me for about, um, I want to say like a month, and I use it all over all of my tattoos. So I use it on my back, my inner arms, and my arm. So this one is my newest addition. I kind of wanted you guys to see how it looks from before and after. So I got out of the shower and didn't put any on, so I wanted you to see how dry it is. It's dry, it's flaky as normal. So I had the protective film on this one for the first four days, and then after that, it's um, you're supposed to use a lotion. So the way that shea butter works, if you have not used it before, you warm it with your hands, and it'll melt, and it kind of feels like an oil. It's very lightweight, but it can be um, it can kind of sit on top of your skin like a like a film. So I wouldn't use a whole lot. You don't need to use a lot of this at all. I would not microwave this. 
just take some out if it if it hardens because of the temperature in the room just sit it under um, either put it in a cabinet or put it somewhere where it's a little warmer so as you can tell that too is dry right so we're going to add that on there The great thing about this is that it is very moisturizing and it's just great for your skin overall. So honestly, it is not just for tattoos. I love to use it all over my body sometimes, but if I have a larger tattoo, then I like to just focus on that. Um, my inner tattoos are more sensitive skin, so I put those here as well. So I would like to keep them nice and fresh and keep the color rejuvenated. The one thing you want to keep in mind with any tattoo is that you want to exfoliate your skin as much as possible, or not as much as possible, but you want to exfoliate your skin regularly. Um, it keeps them bright, keeps them vibrant. So I actually already added it to my back when I got out of the shower. I'm just getting rid of the excess here. And let me turn around and show you what it looks like. So the elephant on my back is will be a year old in July. The lion and the wolf are about four and a half years old. The phoenix on the side is maybe six years old. So this stuff has really brought a lot of these different my variety of tattoos to life. This one is only a week old, so it's still very flaky, very dry. Um, but I have to kind of keep it protected as much as possible and you want to stay out of the sun if you have animals you want to try to keep animal hair out of your tattoo space so um, wearing like a, a loose shirt that allows it to not cling to it will be helpful if you have an animal I have a cat so naturally there's cat hair that flies everywhere so I have to make sure that I keep it uh, protected so Without further ado, I'll show you my back with using this over the last year. So as you can see, it is very, the colors came in very nicely. What I love about this is that it's not only natural, but it holds the colors in very nicely. It keeps your tattoos very clear, very clear and like I said, keeps the colors in. So, the other thing I would like to review, so this is number one, the other thing I'd like to review that would be number two, then my other only option that I would use would be the A and D. So with this, what I normally do is I do the same thing that I do with the um, tattoo skin silk. So I wash the tattoo, kind of get that, that nasty, icky, gooeyness from all the plasma coming out. Um, then I wipe that with a clean paper towel. So I have a paper towel roll dedicated to my tattoos. And then I simply let it dry for like a minute or so so that there's no dampness before I add the ointment. Then I take a little bit of ointment, rub between my hands, and then I just do one nice clean swipe like this. So one, one or two clean swipes just to make sure that every bit of it is covered and then that is it. So you don't want to clog it with too much of this. It's very thick. The great thing about this is that it, it loosens, but this just stays pretty thick. Um, but both of them work very, very well. Uh, I'll have both in the description and also on the website, just in case you forget or can't find the video. Subscribe to my website so that you can always see what my faves are. Um, and stay tuned for more as I get more additions. Next time I will talk about the dermafilm that goes over the tattoos and we can look at that in detail. Thank you all and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.